This is a demonstration of the Bernoulli Box A220, a dual 20 meg cartridge drive from the late 1980s, which I've recently gotten running. First thing we'll do is power everything on, and then we'll demonstrate it running with an IBM XT. So turn it on, load the cartridges. When you turn it on, there's a substantial air filter and fan in the back of it, which positively pressures the case to avoid contamination. Loading the cartridge, insert and lock, which then spins the cartridge up and hopefully it becomes ready. That's one cartridge. Here's the second 20 meg cartridge. Looks like they're both ready. So now I'll go power up the XT. The XT will be booting DOS 2.1 off of a floppy drive. XT takes a little while to run. This particular XT has an XT IDE adapter in it. We won't be using it today. You'll see the splash on the, on the screen. It will boot from floppy. And the first time I tried this, drive D wouldn't come ready. It's probably a dirt issue. Always have your Bernoulli box cleaning cartridge available. We'll demo this later. It's a wonderful little device. We'll have to adjust the focus on that. Great. So, what I want to show you, if we can zoom in on it, see if the focus is working a little better. The device driver has loaded. Oh, it's not very easy to see. The device writer has loaded and we have two drives ready to go. I don't have these full at the moment. We'll just exercise one of the drives by doing a directory listing on it. Not better yet, we we'll just do a check disk. And there it goes, not too shabby. Let's check this the second drive. That looks good too. A more impressive test is a benchmark. I have a little benchmark that I wrote that does sequential I.O. We'll do that for two iterations. First stage is a write. If I get the parameters right. The first stage it'll write a one megabyte file and do it twice, average the results. And then we'll do a read test. There we go, 123k a second and 122k a second. So that's the right speed. And this is using DMA on the interface card. The interface card 
is a proprietary Omega card loosely based on SCSI. Okay, let's try the read test. Let's see the drive is happily whirring away, making all sorts of funny noises. And that came in at 127k a second and 126k a second. The drive comes with utilities, software, of course. Allowing you to back up your hard drive. Format new cartridges, copy cartridges, partition them, lock or eject cartridges, and even do diagnostics on both the cards and the cartridges. Back in 1987, this was a $2,700 box. That's the dual drive A220. And today, very hard to find. The drives themselves are available but the cartridges are a little on the rare side. 10 meg cartridges, which look exactly the same, were, are easily available, but the 20 megs weren't long lived. 20 megs were replaced by a later form factor, 5 inches in size, that iOmega then used on Bernoulli box until the 230 meg Bernoulli box at that point in which they ceased development of the line and then switched over to the zip drive. These drives are fairly interesting. They will talk to some SCSI controllers, older SCSI controllers, they use a 256 byte sector, which is unusual. Most hard drive storage is 512 byte sectors. One last thing I want to show you is the cleaning cartridge because it is just that fun. You may be familiar with floppy drive cleaners. This one's a little different. You open up the storage window. There's a pad that you soak in alcohol. And then after you clean the drive, you power it off. You would close the window, and once the drive is inserted, once the cartridge is inserted, but not powered on or latched, you would then turn this lever back and forth 25 times and you are physically cleaning the cartridge uh, the drive head when you're doing that of course you would insert it closed when you're doing that but if you can imagine what it's doing inside to the drive head and these drives are single sided that's why you only see the pad on one side and that's it there you have it the Bernoulli A220 Ancient storage technology from 1987.